Alright, so now I'm going to talk about clear parts. <clears throat> clear parts are one of the more tricky types of parts to work with. Uh, this is because they can obviously easily be marred and that will damage the end result. So, working with clear parts, you want to be extra careful when trimming them out. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Now this part of cleaning up is where you want to be really careful. Take it extra slow and try not to do too much and use as sharp a blade as possible. Right. Now, in some cases, with clear parts, you may have a mold seam running down them. This is particularly prevalent on um, more modern jets. Um, fortunately with this part, don't have to worry about that. However, if I do end up doing a modern jet for a later video, I will show how to clean that up and fix it up. This fixed up. Okay. I'm gonna do the same for this part. And you just want to take it nice, slow, steady. You don't want to warp the plastic. It's nice and easy. get there. Let me get this back one. Okay. There we go. Take care of that. There. We're good to go. Now, next step in this part is, is to basically fill the inside with and sticky tack. Now, this is so as to give us just mainly for give us something to um, easily grip to and to work with. And so, this process you just want to stuff it in and you want to make sure you get it all on the inside by avoiding getting it on the outside. As you want to see, I want to make sure that you're getting the just the innards covered, not any of the out parts. Okay, now let's see. You can do this. Oh, okay. Down. Okay then. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So, here we go. We got our part. It's all plugged up now. Now, the next step. <clears throat> and that is to use a liquid mask. I use this stuff. And actually, I'm going to be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, um,. For this, you want to have a dedicated brush, i.e. you don't use that brush for anything else. Now, I'm going to use this. I'll use this will just make it 
a little easier to work with in position for drying. So you want to just get a decent amount, but not globs of it. In the end, you want to make sure that you've got all the excess sticky tack off parts. mind having to double check as it's very take the time and be sure then to find out later you screwed up Okay, just about okay for you on a spot where I'd so, stick tack okay. Good to go now. So again you wanna get decent amount on it, but not dripping amounts. As you want to control the what you're putting on. And again you're just gonna brush it over the entire surface at this point. Now, you're going to want to do several coats of this stuff, as you want to make sure you get a good, even amount, and to make sure you get complete coverage. I also recommend allowing at least a, probably an hour or more between coats to ensure it has enough time to dry. Alright, so there we are, and I'll do another coat or two on this, and then I'll come back and talk about how to cut out the frames.